talking about he want receipts. Let's start with your mother. Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother's name. That's the one who got the receipts. After Puff signed it, it's official. Your boy is Freedom Bird. Once I get the paper signed, then I come back. You see what I I felt like I did more than I got credit for, more than I got paid for. You felt or did you? Talking about he want receipts, let's start with your mother. Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother name. That's the one who got the receipts after Puff signed it. It's official your boy is Freedom Bird. Once I get this paper signed, then I, I felt like I did more than I got credit for more than I got paid for you felt. Or did you do that okay? So you all already know that my and Diddy been at odds for years. As May claimed that Diddy had exploited his talents well, the word has it that Diddy took advantage of more than just May's talent. And right now, while Diddy is in hot water, May has come forward to spill the beans on his own wild affair with Diddy. So, without further ado, let's get into it, Maisie. And Diddy Feud Diddy has been making headlines due to his involvement in many salacious activities. Although these past few months have highlighted an evil side of Diddy's personal and business relationships, the tragedy of Maze has been reignited Mays first quit music in 1999 to pursue his newfound passion as a minister during his time at the Bad Boy label. Several unfortunate events transpired which prompted the Can't Nobody Hold Me Down rapper to find God. Some of these events allegedly included the untimely passing of label mate the notorious big in 1997. At the time, the bad boy label also dealt with a number of legal issues, leading to the, the incarceration of several artists. You see, after Mays retired, he returned twice once in 2004 with the album Welcome Back, which was a disappointment compared to his fan favorite debut Harlem World and its follow-up Double Up. And again, in 2009, you all might remember that wild moment when he presented Diddy with documents during a live radio interview demanding to be released from his bad boy contract. Let me give you my card. After Pooh signing this official, your boy is Freedom Bird. Once I get this paper signed, then I come while well, Diddy did sign the documents. It was later revealed that he only allowed Mace to appear on songs with other artists. He was otherwise still contractually obligated to Bad Boy Records. In 2012, May told fans he was no longer under contract with Bad Boy. But since then, he's been vocal about his issues with Diddy in a since-deleted Instagram post. He claimed that Puff refused to sell him the publishing from his three albums, even though he offered $2 million against his original $20,000 advance from 1996 to it. He trying to do other stuff. I'm trying to get my paperwork signed. He's trying to get his freedom. And I ain't mad at him, so going bum rush puff on air. When Diddy gave an industry upholding speech during the Prague Grammy Gala, accepting the President's Merit Award, May called him out for his alleged hypocrisy. He said, I heard your Grammy speech about how you are now for the artist and about how the artist must take back control. So I'll be the first to take that initiative. Also, before we ask of other ethnicities to do us right, we should do us as black people better, especially the creators. I heard you loud and clear when you said that you are now for the artist. And to that, my response is if you want to see change, you can make change today. By starting with yourself, your past business practices knowingly has continued purposefully starving your artist and extremely unfair to the very same artist that helped you obtain that Icon Award. On the iconic Bad Boy label, for example, you still got my publishing from 24 years ago, in which you gave me $20,000, which makes me never want to work with you as any artist wouldn't after you know someone is robbing you and tarnishing your name when you don't want to comply with his horrendous business model. In addition to that, May claimed that Diddy was pulling the black community down by exploiting them, he continued. So I offered you two million in cash just a few days ago to sell me back my publishing that always show you respect for you giving me an opportunity. At 19 years old, your response was if I can match what the European guy offer him, that would be the only way I can get it back or else I can wait until I'm 50 years old. 
and it will revert back to me from when I was 19 years old you bought it for about 20k. And I offered you 2 million in cash. This is not black excellence at all when our own race is enslaving us. If it's about us owning it, can't be about about us owning each other. No more hiding behind love you changed. Give the artist back their money so they can take care of their families. Although Diddy did not give in Maz demands immediately, he decided to transfer rights to the artist. In 2021, in a Billboard interview, Diddy claimed that he was put in a position where he felt like he had to look into the mirror comms said at that time he was holding the Grammys to task and was getting big offers for the bad boy catalog. He said, we live in a time where things are constantly evolving. And it was about reform for me. It was me looking at ways I could reform things as a person that's been asking for change. It was just the right and obvious thing to do something I'm proud. I did as a businessman, there comes a time when you have to pick purpose over profit. I'm glad that I've seen both sides as a businessman I've evolved and was blessed to be in a position to give the publishing back now. The thing is Jaguar has alleged that Diddy wanted to transfer rights to the artists. In exchange for signing and us, you see it is natural that people around Diddy saw things that they weren't supposed to see. Therefore, Diddy allegedly decided to use the artist's weakness in order to tie up his loose ends anyway. May also hinted about Diddy having relations with other artists when he called out Cameron for having an open zipper during a promotional video with Diddy Check Us Out We Here. Right now, Harlem's on in the house harem. Baby Harlem, 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 Harlem. Check this out, pink whore power. What does it do, Cam? I can't tell you exactly what it do, but you're going to have a lot of fun with your ladies, baby Diddy raid Rodney Jones allegations. Mace did take a short break from talking about Diddy, but when the feds paid a surprise visit to Diddy's place, Mays did not stay silent speaking to Cameron on there. It is what it is podcast, the Harlem native, discussed the raids carried out by Homeland Security at Diddy's Miami. And Los Angeles homes, he said, reparations is getting closer and closer. I'll be sure to give you your percentage. It's amazing that all this would transpire on that day. That's eerie, man. For those who don't know, the federal rates were taking place on the 27th anniversary of Notorious B. I's Life After Death album. The two also noted that it was the 21st anniversary of the Diplomats album, Diplomatic Immunity. You see, immediately after giving back rights to Maze Diddy, claimed that they were cool with each other, everything's cool and good now. You know where brothers and brothers fight, I love him. And that's it in an old clip. May also called out that Diddy has everything in his mother's name. He claimed that Diddy does his business under Janice Coles's name, so that he could escape whenever the trouble arose, he said. How dare this in talking about he want receipts. Let's start with your mother and your mother. Got the receipts and everything is in your mother's name. That's the one who's got the receipts and after mentioning Janice May, went on to reference former bad boy SES. The notorious big Craig Mack and Black Rob, he suggested Diddy, also explo exploited those artists, all of whom have since passed away. You need more proof in Big Haint here, so Big can't give you no receipts he dead. Craig Mack can't give you receipts he dead. What are you talking about? Who else? Black Rob can't give you receipts he dead. And everybody else you made sign paperwork. So they can't talk about what I'm talking about. I'm the only one with guts. I'm not signing in because I don't need the money well at the time. May made the allegations the public looked quite favorably on Diddy. So May got a huge backlash maze, did not succumb under pressure though, and released another statement doubling down on his comments today. I wanted to talk to you yesterday. You probably felt a certain way about the way I communicated. But I'm very unapologetic about the way I communicated cuz I know what I said was right. Maybe you didn't like the way that I said it. But I know what I said was right. And I'm going to tell you why if the devil can use him aggressively. Then I want you to know God could use me aggressively. Maz allegations regarding Diddy about his improper business. Conduct proved themselves when Lil Rod decided to sue Diddy for Sa in a lawsuit filed in U.S. federal court for the Southern District of New York. Rodney Lil Rod Jones-Jer alleged that Combs forcibly touched Jones's intimate areas 
While they worked on the album, he also accused the rapper and his associates, including his 30-year-old son Justin Dare Holmes, is chief of staff, and comms global enterprises, of participating in its venture, according to Jones He, and comms work together between September 2022 and November 2023, a partnership that resulted in nine songs on the Love album, for which Jones is credited as a producer Jones also alleged that he was not paid for 13 months of work. All the essay allegations came after Diddy's former girlfriend sued Diddy for essaying her during their relationship in the lawsuit, filed in federal district court in Manhattan, Cassie. Otherwise known as Cassandra Ventura, revealed that not long after she met him in 2005, when she was 19, he began a pattern of control and exploitation that included stimulating her with substances physically harming her and forcing her to get with a succession of male workers. While he filmed the encounters, the lawsuit stated comms began aggressively pursuing Ventura, who signed with Bad Boy at age 19, and quickly catapulted to fame, inviting himself to a gathering for her 21st birthday where he